Hey guys, Dr. Noobsauce here, and I'm back with another pipe. Same, same company, different pipe. Let's get into it. So this hookah here is the lounge version of the ATH's uh, new line that they're coming out with the hookahs. And you're probably wondering why, 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 why a lounge version? Why would you need a different hookah for lounges? Why would you need something else that you couldn't just smoke at home? What, what is a lounge hookah? And that was initially my take. I was like, what is a lounge hookah? What makes a lounge hookah different from something you would smoke at home? Is it just a name? Is it just a branding? Is this something different from left field? Well. I'm here to show you the differences. So right off the bat, uh, my last video, I did it with the BA and the stainless steel hookah. So to show you what the lounge hookah looks like, boom, this is the first aesthetic difference. It's flat, same diameter. Uh, it's a little bit, uh, no frills up top, uh, more of uh, what you see from uh, overseas hookahs like Russian hookahs and stuff like that. It is full stainless steel. The neck comes in five different styles as far as I'm concerned. Now let's get into what breaks it down what makes it different from the other hookahs that they have now right here is the first difference you're gonna see it's flat you're probably wondering where is the purge port there is no purge port there is it's actually internal which is really cool and you're probably wondering how do I get the ball bearing out if it's internal well you turn it over let's take out the downstem really quickly because I do have some coals on and at the bottom here whoops at the bottom here, it's going to have a little screw port, and that's how you're going to be able to get the ball bearing out and clean the inside of it, which is good because if, you, if you've if you worked at a lounge and you know people will fuck with anything that they can get their hands on, especially purge ports, if they feel like they're not getting a good draw, if they feel like they can't purge right, they will open it, they will mess with it, and guess what? The ball bearing comes out, rolls underneath the table, and now you have to sacrifice time and other things you were doing to go either find a ball bearing that you might not have one, and now you got to deal with this customer who's kind of being a little bit of an ass. Another thing uh, with the lounge hooker, I worked in a lounge. I understand people messing with ball bearings is one thing. Another thing that people mess with is grommets for the hose ports. All the time, they mess with it, they wiggle with it, they say it's not working, they're adjusting it constantly. It's a pain to deal with this sometimes. So to take away all the frustrations that you would have to deal with in a lounge, they made it not only stainless steel, which is super easy to clean, the screw in design, what comes at the base, so you can just pick up the, the hookah with the neck of the base, fantastic. My favorite thing, and also which is a con, which I will touch on shortly, is basically that the hose port is a male hose port. Now, this male hose port does unscrew it's just really stuck in there it does come out it does it is threaded I promise you I just haven't really t taken it out so it's oh get in there well maybe that's a good thing that it's stuck in there but the only way you're gonna be able to smoke with this is with a silicone hose so hopefully you have a bunch of hard silicone hoses because the problem is con soft silicone hoses because the the length of the male isn't that long the soft silicone, as, it, as you smoke and as you use it, um, the water might build up around it and get into the hose just a little bit, just like all hookahs do. Um, no hookah is infallible. Uh, it makes it a little bit slippery. So unless ATH comes up with a strap that they can put around and tighten it down or make the design a little bit uh, bigger without kinking the hose, uh, this is kind of a con right now, even though I do like it and I, f I like the fact that you can keep the hose connected at all times. You don't have to worry about grommets and stuff like that. You can definitely tell where the mindset between, uh, behind the people who created this at ATH. They wanted to make it more easier for people who own lounges and, and make it less of a hassle uh, to deal with the hookahs. So you don't have to, grommets are gone. You don't need any grommets except for the bowl grommets. That's it. Grommets are gone. You don't need any. That's fantastic, especially if you're running a lounge. Uh, that's some overhead that you don't have to worry about. You don't have to worry about you know, uh, people messing with the hookah. So they kind of make it all self-contained, which is really cool. The aesthetic is also very different from something like the traditional t uh, style hookahs. This is more of like a modern hookah. This is more of like a Russian hookah. This is something that's modular, comes apart, breaks down, easy to clean. Uh, stainless steel, much appreciated. I think this hookah is something that lounge owners should invest in. Something that boom something that they should really check out um also let's look at the glass last but very importantly is the glass this one is tapered outward which is a little bit different you can see how it's tapered outward compared to something like on the other hookahs which are tapered inwards towards the bottom here it goes out and it goes back in and also has little feet here at the bottom for 
whatever table surfaces because you see this is nice and smooth. This side looks exactly like this side. But if you look at the lounge hooker, this side, which is nice etched glass, does not look like this side. So this has like a nice texture, rough texture for the bottom of like a lot of different tables because if you worked at a hookah lounge, you know a lot of different things go on that table and it gets very sticky and very disgusting very quickly. So something like this that has a wide surface area will prevent it from teetering. It will also prevent it from, you know, people pulling the hose and maybe the hose will just come out of here, possibly, and, and, and basically prevent the whole hookah from tipping over. So there's a couple design features in here that you're getting with the lounge hookah that make it a lounge hookah, which I wasn't getting when I first uh, saw this thing until I started smoking out of it, until I saw all the features they offer with the, with the lounge hookah. So something like this, very cool, very awesome for people who own lounges or maybe a, a, a hookah that at home that you're not worried about getting beat up, that can take a beating that people won't mess with. This lounge hookah is A-OK. -okay. Now I would like to see lounge owners actually check this out because as a worker, as someone who changed calls, someone who, who changed heads, someone who filled up the water in the bases, someone who cleaned hoses, someone who put coals on it, I've done it all when it comes to a hookah lounge. This thing would have been fantastic for me personally having it in a hookah lounge because it's great. It takes a lot of ease out. It takes a lot of uh, user error on the hookah smoker's part, especially if you have a finicky hookah smoker out there. And I know you guys uh, who work at lounges will agree with me. Uh, this has a couple features that might make it a lot easier. So that's ATH's lounge hookah. I think it's really cool. I would definitely encourage uh, people who, open, uh, who own a lounge or you're looking to open a lounge and looking for a pipe, something a little bit different, something modular, something that's going to last longer. I mean, listen, you can change the base out. You can change the, the stems out. Five different colors probably. Uh, five different colors. I know they have green, red, dark blue, light blue. Uh, I have, they have something else. They have another color, which I can't off the top of my head remember, but they also have five different stems which offer you the longevity. So you can invest in this hookah and basically allow it to just go forever because it is stainless steel. You don't have to worry about the rust. As long as you maintain it properly, you can have a lot of different aesthetics, a lot of different um, combinations to say the least with this lounge hooker. So I would definitely say check it out if you're a lounge owner because it's dope. It's awesome. And until next time, guys, happy smoking. And I've been Dr. Noob Sauce.